All right, hey Falcon Force, welcome back to Nest. This is probably my 10th time recording this one specifically because I couldn't just get under the fact that I need to just explain this quickly and concisely. It's, I, I'm like taking like 10, 15 minutes to explain this and it doesn't need to be explained like that. It's just a quick and easy thing. So the, video, the thing that we're gonna be talking about in this video is what is a calling? Can you truly be called by God? And what is God's will for your life? Well, I won't particularly tell you what God's will for is for your life, but you'll know what it is by the end of this video, if that's the sense, okay? So. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Dancing Requaza posted a comment saying this. Hey, it's Dancing Requaza, just with a new username now. I don't know if you remember, but I was the one who gave you the Sea of Stars tips on that one video. A few things I want to mention. I'm super glad you're following your calling. You have a God-given gift, and I'm happy for you that you know where to take your channel. I just might become an active listener on that podcast of yours. I'm not really sure what my calling is, but I'm debating between stuff like books, music, or heck, even a YouTube channel. Well, I really do appreciate you reaching out with your comment, Dancing Requaza, much appreciated. Uh, I think the reason why we had a, well, well, I had a particular disagreement when you said, I am glad that you're following your calling is because we have two different definitions of a calling. So let's go ahead and define what a calling is. So the Oxford definition of a calling is a strong urge toward a particular way of life or a career. So we know that that is basically what we really want to do in our life. That's what we want to achieve for. I want to provide information for others so others like young adults like me can strive and achieve the dreams that they really want to achieve. I want to be able to grow alongside other people so they can truly understand and so I can truly understand the things that I want to be able to do and explain. So the more that I do this, the more things that I'll learn, the more things other people will be able to learn, the more comments people will give, and the more I'll keep on learning. So honestly, I feel that the people who don't teach are because they're scared to teach what they think they don't know. But honestly, they should teach anyways. And if they learn that what they taught was wrong, they should humble themselves and reteach the thing that they thought was wrong or the thing that they thought was right in the right way. So they can re-elaborate on those specific things. I believe that if I'm wrong, I'll find out later and I can reteach those things. And hopefully I'll be humble enough in order to accept those specific things and I'll let the pride come down. Anyways, not the point. Here we go. A particular calling. The way that you were describing it is the Oxford Dictionary, like we already said, a strong urge toward a particular way of life or a career. So you were talking about books, music, or even a YouTube channel. That's awesome. I'm glad that you have the want in order to do those things. Those are awesome. Those are awesome things. I have a want in order to have a YouTube channel. I have a want in order to do high school worship. I have a want in order to have a podcast with my friend Logan. I, I have those wants and those and those desires to do those things. And that's good. Now then, what is the second definition of a calling? A second definition of a calling is a command. So that's the spiritual definition of a calling. The spiritual definition of a calling is God's command upon our lives. So what is God's command upon our lives? Well, he gives three. Okay. First of all is the great commission to go teach words, to go teach God's word to the end of the earth. So to teach the gospels, to teach what God's story to the ends of the earth. And that's good. Okay. So that is the first one. Second one and the third one go hand in hand, which is to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love others the same way God loved us. So if those are the three things and those, that is what a calling is upon our life in the way that God explains it, then where does this other definition of a calling come in? A strong urge toward a particular way of life or a career. Well, I believe that the calling air quote that we're talking about here is God's will for our life, which is a little bit different. And the reason why we have different definitions, by the way, is because when you translate Greek into English or when you translate Hebrew into English, you're going to have different definitions and different ways and different words that aren't really going to translate well. So just know that it's not contradicting itself. It's just hard to understand through the translation of the word because it was originally written in a different language. So you're not going to have contradictions. You're going to have language barriers that you need to do some research upon in order to realize that there is no contradictions in the Bible. So let's go ahead and talk about that. All right. Not, not the, not the contradictions, but let's, let's talk about, um, God's will. Okay. So God in the Bible talks particularly about aligning your will with his will. If you're dwelling with him faithfully, what does that mean? Cause he can't be talking about the callings that he gave, like, you know, teaching people and loving him and loving others because we don't particularly have that interest originally. So how would that even make sense? Okay. In this sense, he's talking about a strong urge or a particular way of life or a career or using our skill sets that he's given us in order to achieve these things. Like you said, books, music, or even a YouTube channel, or in my case, high school worship, um, being a leader in those ministries, doing a YouTube channel and having a podcast in the way, doing cybersecurity, like what I'm doing here, like, you know, doing my CISA plus uh, security guide, doing those types of things I have a strong affinity for and a following for that I really want to do and achieve. Okay. So if there, now that we actually have our definitions set up in line, are both of the things possible at the same time? Yeah. Whoa. I almost choked. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, they are. They are possible at the same time. So uh, doing God's calling upon your life, which is his command upon your life, the three commands I talked about earlier are possible. Yes. While achieving your will for your life, what you really want to do, the strong urge for a particular way of life or career, those are possible to achieve hand in hand. So if they are possible to achieve hand in hand, can you truly be called by God to do something? Yes and no. Yes, you can be called to do something. God already called you. He gave you a command. Now, with the will for your life, can you be called to go do that specific will for your life? Well, yes, you can. But keep in mind that that changes because we're human. So, of course, that might not always be the same thing that you're going to be doing your entire life. You might not always be making books. You might not always be making music. You might not always be doing things on a YouTube channel. Like right now, I've been doing cybersecurity. I've been doing high school stuff. I'm doing a lot of other things that would be considered different genres of what I'm working towards. So how is it that God can call me toward three different things? Well, he can. But at the same time, I wouldn't call that a specific calling because when you call it a calling, then people tend to think that is the part where you have to be in your entire life and you can't change it even if eventually you don't really like being in that place. You can change it. If you don't like it, leave it, okay? That's the point. If you don't wanna be there, don't be there. Figure out a way to get out of there and figure out a way in order to make your life better, okay? Like, don't, don't sit there and complain about, oh, I really don't like doing this. I really don't like being in this particular place, okay? That's, th that's dumb. Figure out a way to get out of it, all right? So, your will will align with God's will if you're following him faithfully, okay? Your, your urge upon your life will change the more that you dwell with God. That's, that's really it. Is there a calling upon your life particularly? Yes and no. I think the reason why we got confused is because we have two different definitions and I wanted to elaborate on that second definition. So now that we know that there's a difference between God's will and God's calling upon our life, now we can live that out more faithfully and more truly. So I wouldn't even say that you really have to debate between books, music, or a YouTube channel. Just do all three or choose one. And then if you don't like it, you can change it later on. Or if you do like it, do that and then figure out how to incorporate the other things. Like you could do books, music, and a YouTube channel all at the same time. You could do audiobooks, add the music that you're making into your audiobooks that you've already written because they're your books and make a YouTube channel about those particular things. You could do all three of those things at the same time if you really want to. And all three of those things can be monetized and you can basically have three businesses that you can do. And the bigger that they get, you can hire people to do the things that take you a long period of time or the things that you don't like because money is a substitute for your time. So you pay other people to use their time to do those particular things. And maybe even they like doing those things. Maybe that is their will for their life because they really enjoy doing those things. So by achieving your will, you're helping other people achieve their will. So really great things, really great things there, okay? Now that we've elaborated that um, and we've answered the question, let's go ahead and finish this up, all right? Summary, God's calling upon your life, which is a command, is teaching the word to others, loving him with all your strength, mind, soul, and, and heart. And I'm sorry, I'm totally like miss saying that, but you guys can go look it up. There is, I, I'm, I am, what's the word? It starts with a P. I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing it, but you guys can go look it up. And then loving others. And you can do that in everything that you do. That's what I'm doing here with this podcast. That's what I'm doing when I do high school ministry. That's what I'm doing when I'm studying cybersecurity because I wanna make money and have a career so I can pour back into the podcast and pour back into these other things where I can pour into people because that's what I truly wanna do. Now, that's it, <laughs> that's it. Okay, so what's next? Well, this is the process of starting over. I really do hope you guys understand. Um, the calling upon your life. Once you understand a calling, you can truly know what you really want to go achieve and truly understand how to achieve that while achieving what God has called you to do. I believe that you can do that in anything that you do. So yeah, that's awesome. All right. Next video is going to be talking about reverse engineering your goals. And so I'm going to go find a particular goal to reverse engineer and figure out how to get back from it. Maybe we'll even use my goal or if someone wants to leave their goals, particularly in the comments of this video, so I can talk about it in our next video, that'd be awesome. Talk about what your goals are and then we'll do our best to reverse engineer it. And I'll talk about what reverse engineering is, talk about how to get yourself a step-by-step -step plan. And if you don't really know where you're going, this will that video will help you dis, um, discern where you wanna go. We also talked before about what is luck, the truth about luck, and how to properly apply luck to your life because luck is not something that, l luck can be manipulated. You can use luck, okay? The other thing we talked about is motivation. You can go ahead and figure out how to use that. We're gonna make another video talking about discipline and how that really goes hand in hand with motivation because yes, you can have motivation to do a particular thing, but then you're like, oh, why am I not doing that thing even though I really wanna do this thing? Um, 
yeah, yeah there's other there's other things about that so we'll talk about that subscribe to the channel right here if you guys want to know more and watch these videos right here if you guys really want to uh, delve a little bit deeper because this video was more so almost like a bible study <laughs> but i really do appreciate you guys you guys are awesome okay thank you guys very much for your support hope to see you guys in the next one okay this is the process of starting over let's get back on that horse and keep on riding forward okay no matter if we mess up no matter if we fail all right let's hop on in stay strong fly home whoa stay strong fly on falcon force i'll catch you guys in the next one by the way, I apologize. Probably a little bit tired today. I woke up a little bit late. I did end up messing up a little bit of times today. I'm not perfect, okay? And I wanna I wanna make sure that we're all growing together, guys. I'm even though I'm making videos, honestly, people esteem this teacher level at like a really high level. And I'm not really that that cool, guys. I'm not that cool. I mess up, I make mistakes. But I'm still here. I said I was gonna do this on the daily, so we're doing it. Anyways, much appreciated, you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, stay strong. Fly on, Falcon Force. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace out.